Hello people, welcome back to my latest pound for pound video. Um, and in this pound pound video, we are looking at the pound pound record of Ezard Charles, the Cincinnati Cobra, um, who by the end of his pound pound record, when you see the list of names he thought were pound for pounders, I think you'll come to realise that he has just a staggeringly tough record against the pound pound fighters when you look at all the great fighters in this list coming up. So let us go to the first slide covering Ezard Charles's pound for pound record. Now, Ezard Charles, of course, um, in his first fight against a rated pound for pounder in my all-time ratings. Fight number one was against top 10 and top three rated pound for pounder Ken Overlin. Ezard Charles lost that fight, although Ken Overlin was a hard fighter to beat um, around that time in his prime. Fight number two against pound for pounder was against a fighter who actually got the coveted pound for pound number one spot in my ratings one year. That is top 10 and top three and pound for pound number one fighter Teddy Uroz. That is an underrated win on Burley's resume. Pound for pound fight number three, he then goes back to Ken Overlin. Betters the first result slightly, uh, this time going from a loss to a draw against the top 10 and top three rated Overlin. Then in pound for pound fight number four, he beat top 10 rated pound for pounder Charlie Burley as a teenager, okay? Um, with a vicious, aggressive display, he beat Charlie Burley. I mean, my goodness, what a win. But then he repeated that win in fight five against pound for pounder, beating Burley for a second time. Then in pound for pound number six, he fought Black Murderer's Row fighter Jimmy Bivins, rated one of the best fighters in the world in early 40s. Jimmy Bivins also um, held that coveted number one pound for pound spot on my ratings one, one year, minimum one year, also top 10 and top three rated. Ezar Charles lost that fight, and then he also lost to the excellent Lloyd Marshall um, in pound for pound fight number seven, who was also top 10 rated pound for pound in my ratings. Pound for pound fight number eight was against top 10 and top three rated ancient Archie Moore, the old mongoose. I mean, already the names on here, Burley, Bivins, Archie Moore. <laughs> oh, for dear me. Fight number nine, he comes back and avenges the earlier defeat in fight number seven. In fight nine to top 10 rated pound for pounder Lloyd Marshall, the Black Murderer's Row Fighter. And then he comes back and avenges the earlier defeat to top 10, top three and pound for pound number one rated Jimmy Bivins um, in pound for pound fight number 10. Then in pound for pound fight number 11, he then gains a second win over Bivins to take the series to 2-1 in his favour. Ezard Charles then in pound for pound fight number 12 fights top 10 and top 3 rated Archie Moore a second time and beats him again he then comes back and has a trilogy fight with Lloyd Marshall the Black Murderer's Row fighter top 10 pound for pounder gaining his second win on the spin and his second from 3 he then goes into pound pound fight number 14 beating top 10 and top 3 rated light heavyweight great Archie Moore again and then in pound pound number 15 um, beats again the former pound for pound number 1 rated and top 10 and top 3 rated Jimmy Bivins. Wow, that is a list of tough fights against top pound for pound rated fighters and many great Hall of Famers as well and many Black Murderers Row fighters. Already that list of fights there is an incredibly tough run of fights. Pound for pound fight number 16 for the great Ezard Charles was against former top 10 rated pound for pounder Jersey Joe Walcott, um, another major win. He then in pound for pound fight number 17 former fought former top 10 pound for pounder in my ratings Gus Lesnovich the long reigning lineal light heavyweight champion gaining another win and then he beats another former pound for pound number one fighter in pound for pound fight 18 that is top 10 and top three and pound for pound number one rated Joe Lewis um, who was former you know pound for pound number one so he's actually beaten Teddy Uroz and he's beaten Jimmy Bivins and he's beaten Joe Lewis he's already beat three fighters who've held my cover to pound for pound number one spot and this first 18 fights okay he's got 14 win three loss and one draw and that run of fights there is an incredibly tough run of fights okay 18 fights and you have got multiple fights against hall of famers multiple fights against black murderers row fighters some fights against fighters rated by many as the top or top two fighters in their division all time like joe lewis and archie moore you know, underrated all of famous like Lloyd Marshall, beating twice many people called the king of the Black Murderers Road, Charlie Burley, beating him two out of two. You know, incredible, incredible fight run there for Ezard Charles um, in terms of his pound for pound record. So let's go on to his last pound for pound fights now. Ezard Charles in fight number 19, okay, fights the highly skilled and technical Jersey Joe Walcott again, who's top 10 rated pound pound, gaining a second win. He then in pound pound fight number 20 goes into the split of the series with Jersey Joe Walcott in the third fight. This time the top 10 rated pound pound of Walcott beats Ezard Charles. And then in fight number 21, Jersey Joe Walcott beats Ezard Charles a second time. So he's splits the quadrilogy with Jez Joe Walcott, two win, two loss.
He then goes in for his final fight against um, Pound for Pounder, top 10, top 3 and former number 1. Um, Jimmy Bivins in Pound for Pound fight number 22, gaining a win. And then he loses his last three fights against a rated Pound for Pounder. In fight number 23, he loses to the great light heavyweight champion, top 10 and top 3 rated Pound for Pounder, Harold Johnson. And then his last two fights against Pound for Pounder are, of course, against the Brockton blockbuster, the Rock, Rocky Marciano, who was top 10 and top 3 rated Pound for Pound in my ratings. As our Charles lost five Fight 24 against Marciano, then also lost fight 25 against Marciano. So basically, when we look at Ezra Charles's pound pound record, he doesn't have the largest pound pound record, but he has, in my mind, one of the toughest. You know, you have fights on there, two fights with Overlin, a fight with Yoroz, you've got a fight series with Bivins, you've got a quadrilogy with Jers Joe Walcott, you've got multiple wins over at Archie Moore, you've got two fights in there with Charlie Burley, you've got fights with Harold Johnson. You know, you've got the fight with Joe Lewis, of course, the Brown Bomber. I mean, that is an incredibly tough 25 fight run um, in terms of Ezard Charles' career in relation to pound for pound rated fighters. That is an incredible, incredible run. Um, and this is what I mean, you know, this is just 25 fights of Ezard Charles. These aren't all the champions he fought. These aren't all, you know, the top rated contenders, top five rated contenders he fought. This is just against fighters who get into my pound for pound ratings all time. So that is an incredibly tough, incredibly um, hard pound for pound fight run. So there's the uh, pound for pound record of Ezard Charles, the Cincinnati Cobra. Now let's uh, close out the video. Let's go to his pound for pound stats. Now, Ezard Charles, okay, was top 10 rated pound for pound in my ratings for six years in total. And Ezard Charles was pound for pound top three rated for three of those years. But Ezard Charles never captured the coveted pound for pound number one spot in my ratings any individual year. But also, we must rem remember, a lot of the years he was fighting, there was Joe Lewis, there was Sugar Ray Robinson, there was many, many other fighters um, who were also vying for those top spots with him. So competition was fierce. Now, Ezard Charles beat eight individual pound-for-pound -pound rated fighters um, in his career, and what names they were, Lewis, Moore, Walcott, Burley, hell, what a list. Uh, altogether, he had 25 fights against pound-for-pound -pound rated fighters in his career, Ezard Charles, and his closing record against fighters rated in my boxing library and all-time pound-for-pound ratings were 16 wins, 8 loss, and 1 draw. Um, you know, many of those defeats, again, were to Marciano, Walcott, Bivins, Lloyd Marshall. So, you know, he also beat those guys as well, except Marciano, Johnson, etc. But incredible run. Ezard Charles will now join my pound for pound stat database that has now had all fighters included that have the pound for pound slide. I've backdated it on my retired fighter videos. There's nearly 40 fighters in there now. Um, so all videos now will add in. It's going to grow very quickly. Um, there's Ezard Charles. I'm out for now.